So first morning at the new apartment right behind you. I guess you guys don't really need a tour because this is about it. We got the living room, Joe's room over here, my room over there. Each have our own bathroom and that's about it. It's pretty plain, not too much going on, but here's the little view from the, the outside. We're at like the very front of the apartment complex and it's a big complex too. It's like a couple thousand people probably, but it has the pool, volleyball court. It's pretty nice. It's kind of like back away from the highway and like three miles back behind our gym. So we're actually closer to the gym now, which is kind of nice. We were close before, but this is, this is really close now. So should be a good day. It's Friday. I'm going to see if we can get a workout in with me, Joe and Nick. I don't think that's ever happened. Keeping it a pretty gangster back here. No bed frame right now. Got to bring that in today. Got to bring my dresser, but yeah, it's pretty plain, small, small room. Don't need much. Got my own bathroom in there. That's really about it. Kitchen in here, that's all we need. Oh, there's a drink. My black coffee this morning. This stuff's actually pretty good. I'm getting better at making coffee. But, want to talk about something quick, pretty important. Something I've been up to. So, I know this past year, I said I would do a cut at one point and then I pulled out pretty quickly. I'm looking back at it now and thinking about it. I don't know why I did that because I've never had that issue to where I was planning on diet, dieting and then just dropping out. Cause whenever I went for a diet or a cut, I've done four, I think before I've always just tr done it a hundred percent. And I guess my just heart wasn't it. I guess I just wasn't a hundred percent into it. Maybe I was just trying to create content just and not do what I want but I am back to doing it right now. The last three weeks I've been dieting. God, this freaking coffee's hot. I'll put it down. I've been dieting the last three weeks right now and I just went right back to my current macro, the macros that I did before. So 350 carb, 200 protein, 70 fat. Usually I go a little bit lower on carbs, like 325. Fat I'll go a little bit over, like 80 grams. So I'm craving a little bit more fat than carbs more so. So still do like a cheat meal once a week, but I'm already leaning out. I can do a little physique check right now. I'm gonna be flushed down in the light, but I already feel leaner. And I think I'm probably like 211, 212 right now. Trying to get to sub 200, maybe like 198, 199. I think at the very lowest I'll go 195, but I know I got a lot of crap for that before. That's why I didn't really talk about when I started this cut back up again. When I stopped it the last time, it was just a stressful time. I wasn't into it. I just, I wasn't even into training for some reason that much at that time. It just, I, I don't know, if you're gonna diet and cut, you just have to be 100%. Your mind, everything needs to be right, I think. And my head just wasn't in it. My head's in it now, and I've been going for the last three weeks, and I feel great, so. My body feels better. Like before when I was bulking, I just felt like crap. Now I feel really good being on lower calories, eating cleaner foods. I'm eating around 2,800 calories with those macros. So I'm gonna continue to stay there cause I'm gonna keep losing weight there. If anything, I would maybe up the calories to like 3,200 cause I know I can still or cut on that. So if you guys wanna follow cut, I've been cutting. I already can see that I'm a little bit leaner. So I'm not gonna drop down on this one. I'm gonna do it the whole summer. This is the very last monster from those eight cases. Those went in two and a half weeks, I think. Forgot, forgot the freaking volume, the last one. It was a good take, but came in here, did some shoulders. Those guys were doing legs. Nick and Joe did legs today, so I did my own thing, but started out a little different of a shoulder workout. Usually I come in, like I always show you guys, do a lot of those supersets today. I came in did three presses to start. So the usual standing dumbbell press, love doing that one, 10 reps like usual. Then I did Arnold press, so that's a little bit changing it up with no back rest, so seated Arnold press. That's when you have to go, pretty much leave all your ego out and I was doing 50 pounds. I think I pushed it to like 55 maybe that last set. And then the third press, I did a standing kind of like front to back press. I remember seeing the buff dudes do it like three years ago and I've loved that exercise ever since and always implemented. So you'll see I do like a side angle too where when I go up, I go up all the way. I don't try to just get it over my head to the other side. And same with when I'm on the back, I go all the way up and then bring it back to the front. 
So I did those three, then just finished up with some accessory work. No supersets or anything crazy like that, but I wanna talk about the difference of how I'm gonna train, you know, when I'm cutting and I'm gonna still cut to when I was bulking and just doing my own thing in the winter. So pretty much everything's gonna be the same, my shoulder training, arm training, chest training. The only thing that really differs is my squats when I get really start to get lean. So squats are still gonna stay the same. Still doing fr heavy front squats, you know, heavy back squats, but probably the first thing I'll eliminate once I get really lean, start to kind of feel it in my joints and whatnot, I'll probably get, take away front squats. Because if you've ever tried to do that when you're getting lean and cutting, it's just the most uncomfortable thing. It doesn't feel right on your body, at least for me. And then as far as back squats go, I'll probably take those reps from what I usually do is like four to six reps, probably take that like eight to 10, maybe cut down on a few sets. So really just a little bit more less volume, a little bit higher reps for the squats. Deadlifting, I haven't really been deadlifting that consistently anyway, but everything else is gonna stay the same. So that's how my training is gonna be now. Give you guys a little quick tour. Our room's right there, outside and right around the corners of the pool. Already took a dip earlier. You good? So we're at Jack Allen's right now. For my cheat meals, I'm doing it every Friday, so going into this meal with 1,100 so far. Did some cardio earlier too, so that's kind of my strategy. I'll have a beer or two and then get the turkey burger, sweet potato fries. Nick ordered chips and guac. I'm just gonna have a few of those. Currently, Currently on Rainy Street, <laughs> gonna get the turkey burger. And guys, you know what? This is the moment I realized this is the dish I want to eat for the rest of my life. I'm only picking up this chip because Preston told me I had to for this clip. I'm only dipping in the guacamole because I have to for this clip. I'm only eating this. So good. Went for a second drink, diet and rum, Captain Morgan, and then the classic turkey burger. One point every time. So what we all got, actually. Is it lit? Woo! So, nice and, nice and a little bit full. <laughs> well, I'm full. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> nice and full. That's my Pick cheat meal. Clip. It's going to be my cheat meal every Friday from, from here on out. I'm going to stay on that diet nice and strict, but on Fridays, I'll go this, like this, this Jack meal is the straw that broke 1,100 the calories and then just splurge on a turkey burger with some sweet potato fries. So. Cuts over, guys. That's it. <laughs> now, I'm going hard on this one all summer. I said I'm going to cut until I hit 20,000 subscribers, and once I do that, it's going to be the 20,000 calorie challenge. So <laughs> we're going to hit it, <laughs> or I'm going to be dieting for a while. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. See you in the next one.